Now in this picture here, <clears throat> I went to the, I, I got a couple of close-ups of that wine glass that's up there that's almost a still life unto itself. It's really amazing, actually, still life. Worthy of its own composition, perhaps. But while I was taking the picture of it, the um, camera, which is you know designed to use artificial intelligence to try to fix lighting, automatically uh, changed the color from green to like a grayish color. Now, usually this works in my favor because these Dutch paintings, being 400 plus years old and with lots of varnish, darken, especially the Rembrandts, because he used a lot of varnish. But, um, and so when I take pictures, sometimes the pictures are better than you can actually see the, the painting in real life. But in this case, it backfired on me. Here you can see it green, it's clearly green to work with. And when you see the still lives uh, or the uh, still pictures I took, you'll see that they grayed that picture out. Um, there's also something else that's interesting about these pictures, that these pictures are coming from all over the world. There's hundreds of them, thousands of them. And um, it seems like people really cherish these Franz house paintings because over 400 years, you know, they are in such remarkable shape. I can't even seem to collect comic books and keep them in decent shape over 50 years, let alone 400 years. So there's that. There's no glass on here also, which makes it easy to see. <coughs> You can see the, uh, in the neckline there, um, if I can get close up to it, you can see the uh, brush lines, brush strokes on there. Some type of finishing varnish looks like you use. Maybe that's construction or repair, it's conservation. Maybe it's original painting, I'm not sure. Okay.